Hey, this is Jim Bergman with Redfish Instruments. I uh, wanted to take a, show you some really cool stuff here. We got the new Redfish IDBM 550 clamp meter. And I'm going to show you the one reason you want to buy this clamp, if nothing else on here. But I think it's one of the coolest features we have here. So what I've got, I got the meter set up to watts right now. And we're going to go in here to test. And you'll see when you when you connect the, the meter up, you'll actually see that we can do capacitor test under a load here. So I'm going to select the capacitor dual run. And then I'm going to enter in my capacitance here. And that capacitor is a 35 by 6 microfarad here. So 35 and 6. And you get the microfarad reading right off the side of the cap. So if you look here on the capacitor itself, you see it's a 35 by 6 microfarad capacitor. All right, so now... Normally when you're doing a capacitance test, you have to disconnect the capacitor to actually make it um, so we can read it. In this case, we're not gonna do that. In most cases, you can actually see the capacitance right on the side without disconnecting it here. I just pulled it out so I could rotate it around and you guys could see it easily on the camera. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna connect one of my meter leads up to the common of the capacitor. You can see here, this is hermetic and this one says fan. And all I'm gonna do then is measure the voltage by whatever leg I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, test here. So I'm going to clip the other one on Hermetic for now. And I've got it tied to Hermetic. And then I'm going to clamp the clamp meter around the Hermetic leg. So just all by itself on the Hermetic leg. And you want to have the clamp meter so that it's connected um, and the leads going right about where I have it here. That'll give you about the most accurate reading uh, on the meter here. So I'm going to go ahead here and we're going to close the keyboard up and I'm going to hit continue and say clear existing data. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the meter here. And we'll see that uh, once this machine gets up to speed here in a couple seconds here, right? We're right in range here. We said there's a 30, the target's 35 microfarads. You can see our voltage coming in, our amperage coming in, our power factor 0.14, so that's the corrections hidden. And you can see we're well within range here of 36 uh, microfarads, 36.4. So the minimum we're on to see is 31.5, the maximum 38.5. Everything looks good and in range right there. So in fact, if I get the meter uh, pinned down here, so you can see where I'm showing the meter here. If I get the meter where it's supposed to be, you can see it's it's pretty spot on there, right at 35 microfarads. Go ahead and pan back up again so you can see what we have going there. These tolerance lines are showing you if it's falling in the green zone, everything's good in that capacitor. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna swap out this on the hermetic side, move it over to the fan terminal, and clamp on the fan leg. And then all I have to do here is tap this on the target, and now you can see I changed my target, and I'm right there at six microfarads, right? So this allows us to make the measurement. Again, we're in the green zone here, so everything's good on this capacitor. So my 30 by six microfarad cap is operating perfectly. So you can see how fast and easy this test is. We can test under a load, don't have to disconnect the capacitor. You know definitively that it's working well. And the really cool thing is we're testing under the line voltage. So we're actually testing capacitor under a load, which means that if the dielectric's starting to break down, we'll know that right away. It's a much more effective way to test a capacitor. So if anything, if the, this is the one reason you buy the meter, this is the one reason I would. This is Jim Bergman for Redfish and Measurement and Measure Quick. Thanks a lot for watching.